Could ChatGPT or AI take my job as a business and mindset coach? Let's find out. If you're an entrepreneur, a coach, consultant, agency owner, expert, healer, maybe you've been thinking about this. You know what? What if I can just ask ChatGPT how to grow my business? I mean, you've probably seen videos online where people are asking for how to make $10,000 a month, how to grow a six or seven figure business, and you know, this um, AI just blurs out all of these tactics and all of these strategies, but would that actually work? Let's find out. I'm going to ask ChatGPT some of the most frequent questions that I get from my clients and we'll see which one is better, human coach or an AI coach. And I'm actually a bit worried. So let's get down to it. You are now a business and mindset coach. How would you, would you help me grow my business to six or seven figures? Um, let's actually get even more specific. My expert business. Actually, no, let's do the general one and we'll do the uh, more specific one afterwards. It's thinking. <laughs> Let's see. Mm -hmm. Your goals, the challenges you're facing in achieving your, these goals, based on that understanding, are some help you grow your business to six or seven figures. Define your target audience, right? Create a strong band. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Clear business plan. Yes. Create a scalable business model to grow to six or seven figures. You need a business model that can scale up to a okay. company. Yes. So um, I'm already seeing the first uh, the first challenge. So the, it, it's okay. I mean, these are all general steps that you would find online, even if you Google this. I think it's more like a search engine rather than for for now, right? It acts a lot more like a search engine because you Google this and this would be basically the steps that you uh, you get. Define your target audience, clear business plan, create a scalable business model, implement effective market. Yeah, thank you. Very useful, of course, <laughs> right? But what, what does that mean? In front of the right people generally sales, right? So the problem that I see with this is that that's not the first step. When you want to grow your business, scale your business to six or seven figures, this is not the first step, defining your target audience. And this might sound a bit counterintuitive and it's like, oh my, oh my God, Bogdan, you're smarter, than, you're smarter than the AI. Look at you with your big head. So here's what I mean by that. The first thing you need to understand, because even like it says cultivate your growth mindset, this needs to be one of the first steps. But even before defining your mindset, what I like to ask my clients is, what, who would you serve 10 years from now and how would you serve them to be able to actually not just define your target audience, but really this question defines every one of the next steps that the AI is pointing out right now. Who would you serve 10 years from now with the same joy and excitement that you um, would have right now, right? Well, who would you be passionate to serve 10 years from now with just as much passion and excitement as right now, if not even more? Because asking this questions and very few people ask this question is very, very powerful because the one way to become successful, and I got this actually from Alex Hormozzi, who's a big business whiz, right? So let me just give credit where credit is due. You become successful by doing one thing really well for a very long time, right? So this is the problem with these general strategies, general advice that actually, you know, honestly, most coaches are in this mindset. This is extremely general and broad cookie cutter response. Okay, fine, right? Because that's the, the database that it's working with. but. I would not start with that. You need to start with knowing yourself very deeply and really asking your intuition in that sense, who would I be passionate to work with 10 years from now? And kind of do your best to stick with that niche. Then the second thing that I get my clients to do is get very, very clear on their big vision. What do they actually want to create with 
their business, right? What's the end goal? Because when you have a powerful vision, it will push you through finding the right marketing strategies. It will inform your business plan. It will um, give you a better idea of who you want to hire, who has the same values as you do, right? Or similar values to you that would be a perfect fit for your team later when you're looking to scale. Very important. And support network, fine, right? It would also help you with understanding who are your people, who are the people that you actually want to support with. And something that I learned the hard way, there is no business without mindset. So mindset should be really at the top of the list. You have no business without confidence, right? Now, let's ask it a different question. Um, what would be the steps for an online coach, consultant, or agency owner? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yep, similar. Great. So let's uh, ask it something else. Um, how can online experts can online, how can entrepreneurs actually, because as experts, we're also entrepreneurs, hire great team members oh it's going all out this yeah very general let's see what does it say in this uh instance critical to success of any business and entrepreneurs need to strategically intentionally when building their dreams teams here are some steps culture and values before you start hiring it's important to find income yes Correct. Very important. Mm -hmm. Yes. Blah, blah, blah. Very general. Multiple channels. Blah, blah, blah. Multiple interviews. Check references. Yeah. Not impressed. Mm hmm. Yeah, so again, if you Google this, you're gonna get the same, kind of the same thing. So, some key distinctions. Yes, culture and values, very important, but what I usually tell my clients when it comes to hiring great people, don't just get detailed, don't just talk about the job description. Here's what the job is going to be, blah, blah, blah. Everybody does that. Everybody does that. And, and your competition right now is probably using ChatGPT and doing the same stupid shit it, it's not that stupid but we're just sounding the same what i want you to do next time you hire someone or before you know um you put out your job description include your vision your mission that's why creating that big vision is so important include your mission what you stand for and you might say okay these are our values no that's a different thing what do you actually what are you aiming to achieve with your business the reason why this is important is because you are going to attract high performers high performers are not simply motivated by money let me see how much money i get okay money is important and of course you need to pay them well but they want to be part of something bigger than than them they want to go to work knowing that they do work that matters is this making sense right so include that vision into the job description very important and number two, you can interview as many times as you want. You can put people through a hundred interviews. You're not gonna know what they're actually like. You're not gonna know what the experience is gonna be like, right? It's like going on a date and uh, dating that person that you really like and they're amazing when you're going out, but you get to know them when you move together. I'm not saying you should move together with your employees. Um, what, I'm, what I'm saying is that you need to give people a trial period before you officially hire them. Give them a month, give them two months, give them three months. We're actually testing them out. Find a legal way to do that. It will save you so much money and time wasted because that's really the only way uh, you can experience, okay, are they actually, what they're saying, does it match who they are, right? Very important, very important. And I don't see this here because it's like general cookie cutter stuff that everybody's doing, 
right? Everybody's doing exactly this even without using ChatGPT. And that's why finding great people is hard and the business is stagnant. Cultural fit, blah, blah, blah. Let's ask it something else. <clears throat> Um, mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's ask the burning question that every single coach consultant has. I had this actually have all of the questions prepped. Let me just copy and paste them. Let's see. Can coaches, consultants, agency owner get more high paying clients? Every single coach, consultant, agency owner is asking themselves this question. Let's see what it says. Uh, come on, chat GPT, you can do it. I believe in you. It's searching, it's searching its database like crazy. Or maybe I just crashed it. Maybe I, I criticized it too much and now it's like, oh, you just just find your own answers, uh, smarty pants. Smarty pants, I can't believe I said smarty pants. Mm. So it's crashing right now. That's unfortunate. It just completely crashed on me. It's not responding anymore it probably got sick and tired of me criticizing it and said you know what i'm out i did have a few more questions that i wanted to ask it like how can entrepreneurs overcome being stuck at five figures six figures or seven figures how can entrepreneurs overcome loneliness fear of making mistakes that is keeping them stuck fear of success how can you overcome overwork fear of responsibility of the responsibilities of success and so on and so forth i might make another video where we continue these questions once uh, it starts working again but in the meantime let me know in the comments what are some other questions that you would like me to ask chat gpt and react to and give you my perspective on uh, you know what i feel would be very powerful and impactful in that specific situation. In the meantime, um, check out this powerful training on the warrior shaman mindset that will give you a very human approach to scaling your business. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.